Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and uh, in this tutorial I'll be discussing about the different methods of generating drawing views. So in KTAV5 there are two methods of generating the drawing views. After you start an empty file in the drafting workbench, the first method is by using the wizards and the other is by generating view one after the other. So let me just open up a drafting workbench drawing and OK and we set the standard so I'll just keep it as it is A3 ISO landscape OK so <coughs> both these methods of uh, generating the drawing views are discussed in this video so before you start generating the drawing views you need to set some standards you need to set the standards of the views generated to the third angle projection for doing that you need to right click on the sheet properties and here on the projection method you need to keep it as third angle projection so I'll click on OK and uh, the third angle projection is being applied <coughs> so uh, now the first method which I've discussed is uh, generating the views automatically so generating the views automatically it means that you are just open up opening up the part file or the assembly file and you're directly giving up the uh, wizard the view creation wizard so you can generate the drawing views automatically using the tools from the wizard toolbar in the drafting workbench to generate the views automatically open up the part or the assembly whose drawing views you can generate in a separate window so for doing that I'm going to go to the file open and uh, open up an assembly file here and then what you're going to do you can switch to the drafting workbench using this toolbar here and after that you need to go to the view creation wizard so the view creation wizard you can find the view toolbar which is right over here if you cannot find it always you can right click and you can search it over here so you can find the view creation wizard and you have the small drop down over here pull on this drop down and pull this and keep it separate because we are going to learn the different toolbars the different tools in this wizard toolbar so these are the different tools which are being used to create the views automatically and this one the view creation wizard which I'll be discussing in detail in the next video so these are the different views so you can click any of them the front top and the left the front bottom and the right and all views so for instance let me just click on the front bottom and right and once I click on that the software is asking me to show the front view of uh, the particular drawing so I'll switch to the uh, my product file and I'm going to show the software one of the plane which is associated so I'll just click on that and you'll be automatically directed to the uh, drafting workbench so you have the stale stock the front view being automatically selected but you can see over here something uh, is, has gone wrong or something is not right so it's it's inverted so for making it proper you have a small uh, you know navigator over here uh, which is going to help you to set all the angles and everything so you can just drag it and drop it on the proper place so if you want uh, the uh, you know this to be inverted so what you can do is you can click over here and you can do all rotation and everything with this particular you know tool over here so once you're done with selection you need to click on outside and your views will be created automatically so this is about the view creation using the view creation toolbar the wizard toolbar so in the next video I'll be discussing about the generating the views in the view creation wizard which you have right here and you have a set of some tools and some uh, steps to be followed to create the views with view creation wizard so I hope you enjoyed my video keep watching subscribe me like my videos thank you so much